Hey, what's shaking, everybody? It's here the Tuesday after Christmas. I believe it's the 29th, I think. Anyway, uh, finally working on getting my truck cleaned out. As you can see, I kind of got stuff thrown everywhere back there. Got my sign that I put surprise on, hung on the back of my headache rack from mom when they came home. Uh, they're the 23rd. But, got a lot of work to do. Haven't been able to really work on it. Been wanting to, but we've had family functions to go to. So, that's alright. Was going to do it yesterday. Uh, had to go out to the little truck stuff we got here in town. Uh, jump my uncle's truck. Forgot to shut his fridge off and things out there. So, hooked up the cables. Let her charge for about a half an hour. And finally got her fired up. He got it over to grandma's and I'll go over there sometime today help him get all his stuff out of it you know every time he uh, comes home he takes everything out of his truck and then puts it all back in I don't do it near that way I get everything cleaned up take things out that I don't need and just leave the rest of it but I'm not really sure why he takes everything out but I know there's got to be a reason behind it but he's home a lot more often than I am. He's home every couple of weeks. So. Got a really nice truck. It's the first time I got to see is a show truck in person. Not a big fan of orange, but it's a nice burnt orange color. Nice burnt orange color. It's got the big old kitty cat in it. Got a nice stainless steel reefer pulling behind him. Hauls taters in it. Nice spread axle reefer. But, uh, yeah, we uh, had a very good Christmas. Uh, 25th, I got to cook my prime rib and you know, the former butcher. Uh, so that turned out excellent. Uh, I thought we'd have a bunch of meat left, but they devoured it all. And 26th, went down uh, to my brother's in Grand Island. Got fitted for the tuxes for his wedding. Little brother's going to be getting married in May, which is really cool. Yeah, him and his, him and his uh, fiance have been together for, well, I want to say about seven years. Uh, maybe more, maybe less, I don't remember. Well, I went down there, and then uh, Mom and I went and got her tattoos. Mom got her first tattoo, and she did it like a champ. Very, very good. Very, very proud of her. Well, she didn't cry. She didn't jump. She didn't scream. You know, I've seen guys with multiple tattoos take it a lot worse than she did. So that was fun. They, uh, she went first. Had my dad, my grandma, and my brother's fiance with them. Yeah, and when I was getting ready, my grandma went back there and she wanted to see the needles. And, you know, of course, you got a needle that's that long before they stick it in the machine. Then he, then he just to be a smart ass, showed her the shading needle with the five different needles on it. And she was actually about ready, about wanted to pass out. So he got everything on like I wanted it, started lining. You know, of course, lining is always the worst part. And it wasn't bad. They went out, thought they were going to go to the gas station and grab something to eat, and they went to the bar, which is fine. So we thought it'd take about two, two and a half hours to do my tattoo. Uh, since they weren't back, he decided not to take a break, then got done by an hour and a half. So I was pretty happy, really, really happy. So I got exactly what I wanted told him to have fun with it told him my ideas and he did it perfect he did it perfect and the only part that really hurt was this stuff down here the rest of it just normal tattoo feeling you know not bad at all so well it's a snowy booger here though roads were wonderful coming up 23rd uh, 24th it snowed and it's been snowing off and on cold windy uh, but it's nice dry snow it's I shouldn't say that 
uh, wet snow sticks together, dry snow blows and drifts. So that's all right. I want to be here for about another week anyway. So it'll be all right. Hopefully, the snow will at least clear up enough. They get the roads clear uh, by the time I got to leave out on the fifth. So not gonna worry about it too much. Not gonna worry about it too much. You know, Santa Claus is good to my sister, good to my brothers. My birthday's on Christmas. I didn't want any, didn't want anything. I was happy I got to cook my roast. Happy I got to see my brothers. I'm 20. I just turned 26. What do I need? Yeah, you know, Uncle, big Peterbilt guy, swallowed his pride. Went to Kenworth. Got me a coffee mug and a drink mug. And he went to what we call junk shot around here which is a garage sale deal in uh, late summer early fall and bought me a guy getting out of the flatbed business as an owner operator was getting rid of all his winches and coil racks so he's got my uncle went down there kicked him 40 bucks got it all I can't believe that's all it took to get this stuff I got a ton of winches uh, he's got iron welded on to a couple of the winches to go inside your stake pocket. Not exactly sure what that's for. I don't know if it's for his tarps or uh, just in case he missed, you know, missed a strap he had to put. You know, and didn't want to unravel everything. Uh, I just thought those were neat. He's got the new style coil racks with just the two end pieces and then he's got the old school style where you got three end pieces or I guess it'd be six total so that was that was really neat I was pretty happy with that when he told me about it I didn't think it was going to be too much but there's a lot of stuff there so makes me feel good my little brother uh, youngest brother going to college, uh, be a diesel mechanic, work on big rigs. Told him I wanted a boot box, you know, throw some stuff in. I really ain't got a place for Melton to put one. I wanted something that could fit between the legs of my headache rack. I see a million milers have those. But he got me one at uh, Wheeler's, or I guess Orsland's it's called now. And it's, uh, looks like it's something made to kind of go slip in behind the box of a pickup or something like that you know it's a little bit bigger than the space between my coil or between my headache rack legs and it's fairly deep it's not that big of a box not that heavy so we're gonna kind of figure out where to where to mount it I was thinking uh, put it on my headache rack where my dunnage sits so we can build a bracket to kind of hang over those uh, little U-bars, but we'll see, we'll see. You know, I might be able to turn sideways and sit it on my tarp box and strap it down, but not sure yet. Haven't really thought about it too much. We get a little while to think about it yet. Grabbed uh, one of the old side cabinets off my toolboxes, you know, cheapo one. Turned it sideways, threw it on top of my headache rack. Uh, where my steel tarps would go if I had any and strapped it down and throw my throw my fluids in there had a lock it that way the fluids don't have to be sitting in my side box now I got tons of stuff in my side boxes already it gets really cluttered it gets kind of a pain to pull stuff out of there so nice to be able to clean that stuff up a little bit so I'm, yeah, I'm very happy with the holiday. Very happy with the holiday. You know, family time's been awesome. Been playing games, been playing Jenga, Uno, Monopoly, all that fun stuff. Got to watch the Huskers win. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. You know, I'm eager to get back to work. I'm not used to doing any, doing nothing. I'm not good with downtime but it's all good 
I'm happy with it. You know, they say another week, be able to go back. I think things really helped me though, uh, in regards to not being at work, is looking at all the road closures and seeing all the horrible weather that's out there. And I feel sorry for my brothers and sisters on the road. You know, Missouri's underwater. Uh, it looks like they got 40 shut down through New Mexico and Arizona, uh, parts of Texas. Texas has tornadoes. And it's, it's a mess. So hopefully, hopefully everybody out there is staying safe. That's what I, I really hope. You know, we all have that desire to push, 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 but you know, you push too hard, it takes just one time for things to go really bad. So, hopefully everybody out there is safe, you know, whether you're in a big truck or a small car. No. No time frame's worth your life. Anyway, guys, I thank you so much for watching. You guys have yourself an awesome rest of your holiday. And if you're watching this later in the holiday, have yourself an awesome day.